<laughs> this tiny speck. Oh my goodness. Well, hundreds of artists have signed their name onto a petition to boycott some of the most famous venues in the country. Chris Holmstrom joins us with the social desk with the reason behind it. Yeah, so there's a lot of talk about this one. Good morning to you both. So this whole ordeal is over facial recognition technology. In case you don't know what that is, it's a recent camera system some sports and music venues have started using to identify people and sometimes even prevent them from attending shows they've got tickets to. So two of the band members from Rage Against the Machine are leading the charge. They're calling for venues to do away with the facial recognition technology. The most notable one, Madison Square Garden. The arena came under fire a couple of months ago for using this to identify and ban lawyers from attending shows there just because they worked for the same firm behind a lawsuit against the space. And I, think, I remember this story. I remember that story too, but I think people need to realize cameras are literally everywhere and sometimes you don't realize it, but people are always tracking you and watching you. Yeah, but that venue was actually rejecting people and it was happened to be a lawyer, right? right. Who they rejected based right. on his fa on what they recognized from his face and then that was the the wrong person to mess with, I think. Well, and oh. it's fine if there are cameras everywhere. We understand that's just a part of life for security. And But to use it to keep people out of a venue is just outrageous. So. Right. But, I mean, I think an attorney um, is definitely one you should not mess with. Right. Okay. So it may seem like forever ago. But do you guys remember two years ago when Reddit users managed to skyrocket the GameStop stock more than 1,000% through investing apps? Well, now there's a movie about it. So the trailer for Dumb Money, based on the short squeeze, just came out, and it goes through the highs and lows of the financial phenomenon. The movie stars Oscar nominee Paul Dano, who finds himself at the center of the trading nightmare, and Pete Davidson as his brother. The creator is based on a book about the blowout to Wall Street. It comes out in theaters this September. That that sounds interesting. I it remember does. when that happened. I thought for a second you said Paul Diano. I know. <laughs> In the prompter, I'm like, wait, I'm Paul's thinking. an actor too? Yeah. You the, didn't know? That's what he does on the side? I know. Well, I know you two are both fashionistas, so you're going to love this next story. Are we? Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> All right. So who says you can't turn fast food into fashion? Panera Bread debuting a clothing line just in time for summer, and it takes some of the most popular menu items for it. So here it is. The first fast casual restaurant just launched a line of swimwear, and in honor of its well-known you pick two option, it encourages buyers <laughs> oh, to mix and match. It's got everything from swim trunks to bikinis, one pieces as well, featuring everything from grilled cheese to salad ingredients. A previous line inspired by its popular soups, it's already sold out, so you can't get those. The limited edition release is available at thepanerashop.com. Prices starting at a reasonable $32. But some, why? But some of them are kind of cute. <laughs> They're cute, but I'm just not really understanding the restaurants <laughs> going into the clothing business. Yeah. Because last week we had a story about Taco Bell and Crocs. Crocs. Oh, right. right. It's like, why do you, why? I don't know. I, I guess just there's just some it. fanatics out there who really love their food and maybe that's what they want to do. So. Okay. Okay. so they're happy to perpetuate the brand. I guess so. Maybe. So 30, and, 32 and it's bucks. it's like when one, when one business does it, everyone jumps on board yeah, and it becomes a true. trend, right? Yeah, it's, I guess, smart marketing if people are that's buying. That's true. That's yeah. true. Then yeah. why now, not? Now I want some Panera. <laughs> Always hungry, Chris. Always hungry. Amber, would you wear a Panera bathing suit? No, but you know what? If they made baby clothes, I would totally put on my baby. Oh, okay. right? So oh. you'd make your baby wear it, but you wouldn't baby wear it yourself. Right. <laughs> KCAL News on KCAL and CBS Los Angeles. More local, more local news. In SoCal, our communities are diverse. Unique. She the Turk, you're in my shop, and so are you, Paul Diano. Outrageous. <laughs> and totally us. KCAL News Mornings in your community. Weekdays 4 to 11. But I'm fun. CBS News Los Angeles. Your local news. Streaming wherever, whenever.